This is the car Schofield again with another Nerf review. And it's also another Vortex review. Only this time, it's also Zombie Strike. Introducing the Vortex Fuse Fire. Um, originally, when this gun was put out, and if you have, also have batteries for it, you notice, see how there's this little switch over here? This entire green section right here will actually light up with LEDs. And also parts of the inside barrel. The reason for that is, it takes these darts right here, they glow in the dark. The LEDs inside the gun charge the darts. The uh, gun, a lot of people have been, well not a lot, but some people I know, have been wondering how to load this gun. And there's actually this little hole here, above the uh, hilt, or the handle, here in the back of the blaster. You simply load the darts. Do that hole. It can hold up to five darts in here. Okay. So, all right. So now that we've got all the ammo loaded. Um, let's talk some about the features of the blaster, other than the LEDs and the glow in the dark darts. The uh, handle, as with a lot of the Vortex blasters, is actually pretty comfortable. Since this is Vortex and it's also a zombie strike, the handle is pretty comfortable. Especially for how big it is. It's actually about the same size as the Vigilon. So you'll see my other review on that. It also has a holding spot here in front for five extra discs. So you can hold ten darts or discs rather, straight up. It has one tactical rail here on top. And uh, it does actually say zombie strike on both sides. But it only says fuse fire and nerf on the right side. So that's complaints about the paint job. Just personal preference there. Um, as far as firing goes, let's get to that now. So this is the firing test for the nerf zombie strike fuse fire. Prime it, pull back the priming ring here. Push it forward. Pull the trigger. And we're also aiming at that a uh, brown square at the back of the room there. As this is a bit of an older blaster, it's got priming issues. Okay, so I aimed a little lower now. And that's pretty much it for the firing test. Yeah. Alright, so now that we're done with the firing test, let's move on to the aesthetics of it. I really like how, in, how it looks in the dark if you have the LEDs on and everything. And speaking of the LEDs, if you're wondering where they get the batteries on this thing, which I was when I first got it out of the box, they're actually here in the handle. So it takes two AAAs, rather inexpensive, the switch is right here beneath the Z on the big on the uh, left side. Really easy to turn on and off. The um, other aesthetics of it, the paint job more specifically, is very nice. Most of the paint job is actually segmented, so it's very clean lines and it doesn't look like it was lasered on. So definitely a plus. I bought this blaster for twenty bucks at Walmart, and I have to say it was definitely worth it. Um, if you ever want to mod a Vortex Blaster, don't come to my channel. I have no clue how they work. But um, as far as this gun's concerned, that's about all I have. So don't forget to like and subscribe, comment in the comments below. And as always, this is Isakar Schofield, signing off.